Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skyblock Expert Edition. So, um, last episode I set up this monstrosity, which I should probably, now I think about it, stop these from cross-pollinating, although I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Probably just want to make sure that they don't, though. Alright, we'll need, um... Uh, thingies. And by thingies, I mean multi-blocks. Multi-parts. So, why don't I just grab a little... Oh, what do I want to use here? <laughs> this is an aesthetic choice, this one. Um, some treated wood. Let's use some treated wood. Alright. And then... I need to get my saw out of here. Got all the stuff in here, and I'll tell you what's going on, especially with this. Um, in a moment. Piece of treated wood. Cut it up into bits. Eh, that one will do. Probably look nicer when it's a little bit thicker, actually. Oh, you're not going to let me. No? What and why? Is it because of the node? That's unfortunate. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that it's cross-pollinating. Because um, it should stay relatively in line. I'll keep my eye on it either way. And I am just going to chuck this dust I have in my inventory over the side. Alright, so, what uh, we didn't do after the last episode, though, or what we didn't do during the last episode, is uh, hook it up into the system. You can see that it is now hooked into the system. This is where everything comes out. It's got an extractor on it. At the moment, I think it's just an extractor mark one. Eh, no, it's a quick sword, yeah. And um, over here... I've hooked it up so that the uh, there's active supply um, suppliers in there, which is pulling from here, and this is all hooked up now as well. However, as you can see, this is all empty because there isn't enough to go around, and that's where this comes in. Um, because I just need to pulverize as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, this probably isn't the best option right now to be using um, these pulverizers like this. It's probably going to be a better way to pulverize this, but if I put in this, you'll see it goes up to 800 RF a tick from 320, which is not sustainable for our base right now. Um, maybe if we add another couple of diesel engines, which this has room for, and we will do at some point, but not right now, um, because it is just constantly eating into our system. So, there's one more thing I need to show you. This, I have finally added a big wall of things to the resource section. Um, they all have in them uh, item sync. Yeah, item syncs which are set to the item in them and provider modules. I didn't go with polymorphic because polymorphic is better just for like general chests and things like this. And uh, I didn't show you at all what I had done in the back here in terms of things like the copper. Um, but in here you'll see that the reason why all the copper is going in here is because I'm using an Audict item sync module rather than a polymorphic. So that's why all the copper gets sent to the correct copper uh, compacting drawer. So that's good. Um, getting on with things today, we have the task of breaking down everything uh, and getting it ready to send off. So we've got our broken ore, we've got our crushed ore, and we've got a powdered ore. We're going to start with powdered ore because it's the simplest, and if we start with powdered ore, it means that we're going to be able to um, hook this into powdered ore and then that into the next one, right? So from here, we need another one of these, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's use you 
yeah, to make another one of these. It's proof of concept. And I think I'll put you... Looks like I'm going to need that treated wood after all. Maybe, actually, now that I think about it, maybe the reason it wouldn't fit is because it wasn't small enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to put this over here so this doesn't interact accidentally with anything. And then you, I think, you're either going to be above it. Yeah, I think you'll be above it. All right, you will be above it with a retrieval node. But how do we get you up there? I guess we do this and then this and then break that. So we want a retrieval node for here too, but we also want to make sure that that retrieval node is filtered. And I'm going to put you here just to make sure that you don't do anything until I filter you. Oh, you won't let me place it there, huh? That's unfortunate. Um, Because that's going to pull literally everything. Which is the problem. Why aren't you compact? Oh, because you don't have power. <laughs> of course. Of course it's because you don't have power. Um, That's going to pull literally everything right now. Uh, and I'm not sure if I can... I'm going to briefly break that. I want to copy this, but inverted. And I can't remember if there's a way to copy an item filter or if I'm going to have to make these ones normal uh, and do it that way. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, why don't we just do it the oldie filtered way? Um, I'll need sticks. I think a stick is how you get it back to normal. You do this and this and it un inverts it. No, that's fuzzy. <laughs> uh, uses. To get you back to normal. Do we just craft you with a redstone torch again? Stick turns you into fuzzy. Mm. Okay, I guess I can try crafting it with a redstone torch. Come to me, redstone. Okay, that does uninvert it. Good. Good, good, good. So, you will contain all of the dusts. I think I'm going to need two of you as well. So, we're going to have to do that again. Because I'm similar to the one that we have in there, we're going to need to like um, have the main one and then copy the others in because one filter does not have enough room without nesting filters. If that made any sense. There we go. We've got two normal filters. That's our master filter and that's our filter that we're working on right now. So, all of you, let's get a piece of copper, ah, aluminium, iron, tin, silver, not all of the silver, thank you very much. Platinum. I will um, obviously skip this for future ones as well. So you guys don't have to deal with me uh, slowly putting these together over and over again. See, these don't have enough room, but that's fine, because they'll all get processed anyway and shipped out. Uh, is that all we're doing? No, we're doing lead as well. Lead. But lead's not going to fit in there right now, so I've got to keep the stack on me anyway. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, 
five. They're all gonna fit, which is good, I guess. I don't know whether that's all of them though. It might not be all of them. Easiest way to check is to go over here. Uh, four, eight. Except the Eulorium. I don't know what to do about the Eulorium. I think I might just ship it out. Um, so we actually only needed one filter, which is nice. Now you can be filtered. Boop. And that means you won't pick up any of the other junk that's going around. But we do need to power you. So let's power you, I guess. And it's going to start compressing things. Always the problem with this, though, and I don't know whether we're going to have this problem, uh, hopefully we won't, is that these things tend to gum themselves up because they don't restack. So if this got down to two and this got down to two, it's not going to put the two and two together. It's going to have two uh, sets of two, uh, if that makes any sense. And you're out of power. Why are you out of power? Oh right, because I disconnected you. That's why I actually have three spare connectors, because I didn't want them running. Um, try and get as many of these in here as I can. Because see, now we've got this lying around. We'll see with the, the iron, but... I kind of want to get that out of my inventory. There we go. Cool. So that's you. So we've got to do that three more times. So I shall return. Okay, I am back. We have three filtered things. This one's just been done, um, which is great. So now we have to do the annoying part. This one is fine. From here, we can export these, right? That's great. So this will probably be where we connect this to this and then have to add those dust to this filter. But these two need to be hammered and then passed down to the auto compressor of its neighbor. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, we need to pull out from here. Uh, and I am actually going to disconnect these to do this. And we will start with this one, since that will be the easiest to work on. Hammer. We'll need an auto hammer. -er. We're not doing compressed, so we'll just want the normal auto hammer. Which will be two weighted pressure plates, diamond, hammer, and some ingots. Uh, we will need three, no, two. We need two auto hammers. Uh, so we clear this. Make two of you. Um... And then, once those are done, we'll have to craft pressure plates Four of them. And uh, I got a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> One, two. Okay. Um, pressure plates. See, I'm starting to learn to use this thing. Um, and two of you. And there we have two auto hammers. Hooray! Okay, so. From here. Trying to figure out where I want to put this. Because here's the thing. The output of the auto hammer needs to go into the neighboring auto compressor, right? Which means uh, this hammer needs to go into, well, this hammer needs to go into this auto compressor and this hammer needs to go into this auto compressor. So I'm thinking about putting them one back and behind. Um, sure, we'll use blocks of coal to help this. Okay. 
So if you pulled into here, and then you come across an in, but then that blocks this auto hammer. This is the trickiness about the making things nice and compact. Um, pull into there and you come across and in from the top. If this one is down here, you pull in from there and this goes across and up into there. Aha! Uh -huh. I have figured it out. We need to put you here. We should be able to put this auto hammer here. We need another piece of wood in there, actually. So let me order some treated wood. A lot of my derps are actually just like me error correcting. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like I'll have an idea and then I'll have to adapt my idea as I do it. And I think this is a lot of what makes me uh, to float my own boat. Um, successful in terms of doing designs and stuff because I won wrenched based on that whole idea right I have a very vague idea and then I iterate on that until I get what I need um, and that can look like from the surface me being terrible do I want to use an X asterisk auto hammer or do I want to use those no we've already built those so um I'm sure I had spear nodes though. Did I not? Spear basic nodes? No, I think I use them to make the retrieval nodes. So we're going to have to make new ones. Come over here. Node. Because I only need basic nodes for these. Uh, can I get away with this? Sure. No, I cannot get away with that. Needs transfer pipes and ender pearls. I have transfer pipes. And I can get ender pearls. We'll make a bunch. Because I'm undoubtedly going to need nodes in the future. Either to make retrieval nodes or other. One, two, three, four. You got it. Game. Just waiting for those chests. Here they come. All right. And we're out of stone. <laughs> Why do you think we had enough stone for the last one? We do have enough stone. Ah, uh, what? I'm... Just give me like... Two. Because that's how much is needed for this recipe. There you go. Okay. So that. And that. And... and what? Oh, because it needs to be placed before this is placed. Okay, that's fine. Got some cross pollination going on. Need to get rid of that. There we go. So this will be pulling sand into the hammer. This will be pulling gravel into the air. Now we need to do this. All oh, right. Need to place the node first. You. Ah, dang it. Why won't you let me put that there? You will let me put that there. Okay, that was weird. I need these back. Thank you very much. And there. And then I will need another piece of wood there. Node goes here. Have to break you. Treated wood goes here. Transfer pipe goes there. Okay. I think that works. 
in my head. So all we have to do is power this whole mess uh, and then we can see if it really does work. Powering it is the difficult part actually. Um, because we're running out of sides. <laughs> we are running out of sides and everything needs power. I'm going to need cables, that much is clear. So I'm going to go make some energy cables and I shall return. Okay, I'm back. And when you need things to be compact, use uh, Ender I.O. <laughs> there we go, brain got there eventually. So we'll just separate those two. And we need, oh, that's what happened. I'm on the wrong tool belt. These, we need, we do need. Separate you. Oh, separate, separate, there you go. And finally, you and you. And separate. Okay. And then I made a bunch of enhanced energy conduits because they are going to provide a lot of power. A lot of power. A lot, a lot. That will power those. Yep. And then we need to power those three, which I think we'll do from underneath. Somehow, probably just go underneath here. Um. Hmm. Is that how I want to do things? Probably. Yeah, we'll go under here. Oh, but you know, we have logistics pipes directly where we need them. So, what are you hooked into anyway? What do you do? Uh, that was buggy. <laughs> I'm, I hope I'm still wearing my jetpack. Yeah, but my jetpack showed up in here for some reason. Um, weird, very weird. Okay. So, first of all, you don't need to exist. You're like left over from something. I'm not sure. We'll have to move you though. So, hmm. Inventory is getting full. Unrouted. Unrouted, and then I'll need like few normal uh, logistics pipes and by a few I mean like two is to try and not interrupt much I'm gonna stick you here I'm gonna run these over here and then I'm going to break these. Oh, see? See? This is what I was trying to avoid. So that moves you. And now I need to move you. <laughs> uh, which... I could probably go this way, huh? Nope. Okay, and now I break you entirely. Good. Now I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory that I need to get rid of. Eh, yeah, my way. I didn't have to move all any of that. At all. 
And the reason why I didn't have to do any of that is because uh, Ender.io lets you cover things and for some reason I completely derped on that. I could have just done this. Um, the only one I needed to remove was that one I removed in the beginning. And then I would have just come up here like this. So I'll probably reorganize that downstairs later again. But now everything should have power as soon as I do. Uh, this. Okay. So everything should be running now. Things are getting hammered. But nothing will be getting pulled out yet um because so i need to organize these so you will be made to be pulled in you will be made to pull in you'll be made to pull in and you'll be made to pull in good and then all of the extracts need to be always active So now powder goes into here from uh, the different hammers and it all gets singled down to this one. So this will, is the big choke point of this entire system. But I'm kind of proud of it because it all fits into one little machine area. And it's fairly com complicated, it's fairly compact for as complicated as it is. Uh, is everyone getting enough power? Everyone seems to be getting enough power. Good. There is no chokes here. The only place we're probably going to have any chokes is in these hammerers. Um, which makes me want to change them to ex asterisk ones because they can use item uh, upgrades. These ones have a fixed speed always. Because you can see how long it takes to break just one of them. Then again, uh, what? Why do you have powdered ore in you? This makes no sense. Um, how are you getting powdered ore? Like at all? Because I broke these up. Why do you have compressed dust? Oh, that would have been cross-pollinated from, like, ages ago then. Um. Ha. Huh. And I can't put this back in here without uncompressing it. <laughs> okay, I'll do that in a bit. Um. What about the middle one? I can't get at the middle one. This is the problem with it being so compressed. I can't actually get at the middle one. Are you doing the right thing? Yes, you're doing sand. You're doing dust. And you should now be doing gravel. Yes. And so we'll take those out. Oh, my inventory, you're so full. We'll deal with some of that. Send those away and those away and those away. All of this and that and these and those. Okay. Now I should be able to clean some things up. So Eulorium is still a thing. Um, and Uranium. So I'm not really sure what to do about that at this point, other than just let it build up in the system and temporarily clean it up. The reason why is because if you look at the uses for crushed uranium, it has to be done in a separate thing entirely. And if you look at eulorium um, ore, you can make eulorium dust, but then I guess we could ship that out just like we ship everything else out. So maybe I should do that for eulorium. 
stick that into the filter and get that processing just like everything else. So the only one unaccounted for would be then the uranium, crushed uranium, um, which I think we'll just pull out anyway through here. We'll add it to this filter. So, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done, other than shipping it out of here, but that's, that's easy. That's the easy part, is shipping it all out of this one and getting it all um, smelted. Actually, why don't we just do that? Why? Do we not just do that? I'll need a normal transfer node because you don't need to be retrieved. Everything needs to be shipped out of there. Uh, yes, they are. Um, I don't have a mod bin for extra utilities at the moment. Whoops. One more across. There we go. So now, we should start seeing ore dust go in there and it'll be immediately pulled out. No. Why are you not quick sorting it over to here? I mean, over to here. Why are you not doing that? Oh, because I never set that up. All right. Well, I guess I'll set that up next time. So thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.